got away. I was hoping we would finally learn their identity. At least we got back the bracelet they were carrying. That's... The bracelet of the ancestor. It seems... different since we last laid eyes on it. Hmm. Maybe this emblem can tell us about their time in enemy hands. I'll summon them again so we can talk. That's strange. What? The invocation isn't coming to me. Perhaps it's because I'm in a new world? But that's no good. Summoning emblems is what a divine dragon does. Divine dragon? I'm Tiki. Are you a divine dragon like me? Well... Impossible! Emblems in this state shouldn't be able to speak. Hello, Emblem Tiki. I might be able to summon you again, but your invocation isn't coming to me. Do you know it? I don't know anything about an invocation. <sighs> My head feels fuzzy. It hurts. Please, don't make me fight anymore. I don't like hurting people. You need not act against your will. Allow me to return you to peaceful slumber. You can do that? I can indeed. But I am unfamiliar with this summoning power of which you speak. The divine dragon of this world was able to cleanse fallen emblems. It would seem that you cannot do the same. So I will send Emblem Tiki to rest. In slumber, she will be safe from those who would exploit her power. No longer will she be compelled to fight. You might say we are containing her power in the bracelet. Sadly, since we lack the ability to awaken emblems, she cannot aid us any further. It sounds like our only option right now. Please, go ahead. Whatever benefits there might be to keeping her awake, I won't force her to fight. Tiki, I hope we'll meet again someday. I'd like that. When we do, let's play together lots, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Farewell, Emblem Tiki. Sweet dreams. Uh, night, night. Now, so long as we keep her away from the enemy, she will be able to rest. Thank you, Nell. We place our emblems into slumber as a matter of course, to prevent their exploitation. Emblem Tiki was thus asleep when she was taken, but she returned to us awake. Our foe must therefore possess the power to awaken emblems. Only divine and fell dragons can control them in that way. There are no divine dragons left in this world, so that means our enemy is a fell dragon. One of our siblings, in other words. If it's a sibling of yours, then do you have any idea who it could be? We have many brothers and sisters, but we're not acquainted with all of them. Many died in the most recent war. There is no telling which of them survived. The power to control emblems is rare. If we knew the culprit, we would surely recall. Perhaps this child was born after we left Sombron, or developed this power late. Dragon powers are unpredictable. I cannot transform myself or control emblems at all. Sombron deemed me a failure. If I had stayed with him, I would probably be dead by now. How awful. I managed to survive only because Nell took me with her when she left. <sighs> it angers me to think that our siblings could be behind this. To be given that kind of power, only to use it for evil. What a waste. Nell. <laughs> uh, sorry. It's not my intention to poison the mood. So, Divine One, our objective is to put an end to the ambitions of Sombron's mysterious heir. Since we are fighting to return the emblems to slumber, they will not be able to help us. Knowing this, it is your choice whether or not to join our cause. What say you? Yes, I'll help. <gasps> Splendid! It is such a comfort to have you on our side, isn't it, Nell? After what I saw in that battle, I must agree. But I will remain unsettled by the necessity of fighting alongside this dead dragon. Oh, I unsettle you, do I? 
Please, there is no need to quarrel. Why don't the two of you shake hands and agree to be friends from now on? I decline. Then I guess I'll pass too. <laughs> you could at least try to get along. Before we depart the castle, Nil, we should say our farewells. Oh, agreed. I didn't know anyone else was in the castle. Is it a person I know? You are welcome to come find out. But what you see may upset you. Hmm. It looks to be a monument of some kind. This is the resting place of the Divine Dragon. Your grave. <laughs> I did warn you. We will be just a moment, Divine One. You can go back if you like. Actually, do you mind if I say something? I'd like to speak to my other self, who lived here with you. I think that would be a lovely gesture. Visiting my own gravestone. Not something I ever thought I'd do. I can see why Nell is unsettled by this situation. Hmm. I promise to fulfill your role and protect those important to you as best I can. And with that, my reflection, goodbye. <gasps> Why can't I turn into a dragon like you and father? There, there. You may someday. <laughs> I'm a failure. I'm weak. No, Nell. You are strong. Surely you will be able to transform eventually. <laughs> when? Not even father can say for sure. But until then, hold on to this. <gasps> Your dragon stone? But you won't be able to transform without it. I can if you carry it for me. And I know you will always be by my side. We are two halves of a whole, Nell. This power is ours to share. Oh, our power. Well, that was a kind gesture there. Play for 144 hours. That specific amount is a thing? Okay. Probably have more than that, considering, like, failed attempts. Alright, well, I guess we have a little bit of a world map here. Alright, world map Fel Xenolog. Fel Xenolog has its own world map, which will traverse as you progress the story. You can use the world map menu to return to the world of the main story or the Somniel. You can also fight in skirmishes that will appear in areas you've already completed. But well, what's the point of skirmishes on the Fel Xenolog map, though? Is there a uh, purpose to that? I'll probably try one more tonight and then, like, conk out and stuff. I'll try this one, how about? Fell Xenolog 2 Verdant Garden. After fending off assassins, the Divine Dragon heads to Fierne with Nell and Nil in search of a bracelet. Oh yeah, the world is, like, flipped compared to the, uh, main game world. Yeah, let's try it out. Fell Xenolog 2 Seeds of Unrest. On a battlefield far from all you know, how will you prove your bravery? In the savage garden of blood and steel, who will meet their end? Cast the four thrones to fire. Lay seven flames in the cradle. But there is one who knows the truth. In this world, there is no future. My lonely heart does not beat here. Here we are, Divine One. Welcome to the Kingdom of Firene. <laughs> it may not be my place to say that as a visitor here myself, but I felt someone ought to. It's strange. Just like Lethos Castle, this place feels familiar, but not. If we are finished discussing the scenery, allow me to remind you of the task that lies before us. We are to go to Firenay Castle and acquire the bracelet of the Brash General. And time is of the essence. We must collect all seven bracelets before our enemy does. 
I hope the royal family is willing to hand theirs over. But I do have my doubts. You know how ill-tempered the Theronese can be. What? The people I know from Thyrene are good-natured and peaceful. Is that so? In this world, they are vengeful and quick to violence. The royal family, most of all. That made them useful allies in wartime, despite their disdain for fell dragons. But ever since the Divine Dragon's death, they have completely avoided visiting us in Lethos. And who is the ruler here? Queen F? No. She died at the start of the last war, and her throne remained empty until after the war ended, when King Alfred took her place. But as Nils said, he subsequently cut ties with us. We were forced to take precautions. So, we asked a trusted friend to be our eyes and ears in Firenay. She is due to meet us here shortly. Lady Nell, Lord Nil, hello, hello. Celestia, we were just talking about you. Huh? I've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You must be so tired after that long trek. A trifle compared to your intelligence work here, I am sure. Oh, that was nothing, Lady Nell. But who's this you brought with you? Oh, how is it you remind me so much of the Divine Dragon? Uh, actually... Glorious day! Divine One, you've been reborn! I knew you could never leave us! Not permanently, anyway. <laughs> it's so obvious! How could I ever believe Sombron bested the Divine Dragon Monarch? Zelestia, as much as I hate to let you down, this is not who you think it is. Sorry for the confusion. I'm actually the Divine Dragon of another world. What? We should have let you know sooner. This is not the old friend you and I knew. Rather, this is the savior whom Nell and I summoned with an ancient ritual. This divine dragon arrived in the castle sanctuary after your departure to Firene. I... I see. Of course. What was I thinking? I was there when we buried the divine dragon. I held that lifeless hand in mine as we said our goodbyes. <laughs> I know this is difficult, Celestia. Forgive me. I shouldn't have gotten so emotional. That loss was just as difficult for the two of you. Divine One, my name is Celestia. I am a mage dragon of some small renown. I always considered both you and Queen Lumera of this world to be my family. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. No, please. Let's skip past acquaintances and just be friends. How funny! That's just what the Divine Dragon I knew would have said. Uh, say, is there someone like me living in your world, too? Well... <laughs> Silly of me to ask. Of course she's there, and no doubt a great help in your fight against Sombron. <sighs> what news of Firenay Castle, Celestia? You were stationed there for some time. Indeed, I was. Firene is making plans to invade its northern neighbor. Brodia. The idea was Princess Saline's. It's technically still waiting for King Alfred's approval. But that hasn't stopped the young princess from mustering a force of elite knights. We can no longer stand by and simply watch how this unfolds. Agreed. We must go to the castle and head off this war before it begins. Another thing. Firene's emblem has been... Altered somehow since the last time I saw it. We'll need to be careful. Yes. Now, let us proceed to the castle and reclaim the bracelet of the Brash General. I only hope Alfred and Saline are willing to talk with us. Still, Alfred? Still undecided about whether to invade? Don't rush me, Saline. This is a big decision. I need time to think it over. No, you need to take action. It's not that easy. Brodia was our ally. If we pick a fight with them, there's no going back. 
Since mother and our retainers died in the last war, it falls to us to defend our people. Will we know they are suffering? With the divine dragon gone, the world is falling to ruin. Our crops and flowers are losing their color. Soon the farms will go barren. The only possible remedy is to expand our territory and supplement our resources now. I know, I know. As a mining economy, Brodia can spare the resources we need. So an invasion could really help us out with wealth and minerals. It's a decent plan, but there's a big hole in it. The strength of Brodia's military. Which is precisely why I assembled an order of knights to defeat them. Or is it their emblem you worry about? That silly princess is no match for the brash general. Nothing certain. No matter how good our odds look, we could still lose everyone. Or don't you remember? Our retainers so sure they'd come out on top, all falling like pebbles. That was the same day our strongest ally, the Divine Dragon, left us forever. You have changed, Alfred. You used to be afraid of nothing and no one. When the Divine Dragon was lost, so too was your spine. I will handle it then. Meaning what? Meaning I will head to Brodia on my own, without your permission. With no knights? Are you trying to get killed? Facing either death by the sword, or a broken heart as our people die? I choose the former. Should I perish, perhaps a real hero will emerge and lead our people. I'm content with that. As for the Brodians, if they must suffer in order for our people to live, so be it. After all, one country's loss is another's gain. I just can't get through to you, can I? It's not your fault you were cursed with a stubborn fool for a sister. However, if you want her to have any hope of survival, you must make a choice. What will it be, your majesty? <sighs> you win. You're the only family I have left. If you're set on this, I'll at least give you a fighting chance. Consider the invasion approved. Thank you, Alfred. Let's go. I'll give your knights official notice to prepare for battle. Wait. Please. Who goes there? King Alfred? Princess Selene? It has been quite some time. Pardon the interruption, but we are here to discuss an urgent matter. Well, if it isn't Nell, then Nil. You know, I could have you executed for barging in here uninvited. True. Simply return the bracelet of the Brash General to us, and we will leave you alone. Oh, please. If we turned it over, the balance of power between nations would fall apart. So you intend to continue to wield it as a weapon against your peers? It is precisely because they do the same that you now stand upon the brink of war. I do not think the Divine Dragon would find this behavior acceptable. Oh, you presume to speak on behalf of the Divine Dragon? Curious. Considering your father was the one who denied us divine counsel forever. How dare you! We had nothing to do with that! How many times must we tell you that we are not Sombron? Control yourself, Nil. Of course. I'm sorry. Rest assured that we are making the same journey to each of the other bracelet holders. We are reclaiming all of them. With that in mind, there is no need for you to keep Viranaise any longer. How do we know this isn't a trick to weaken us and strengthen our enemies? Show us proof you took the other country's bracelets, and then we'll talk. Viranae is our first destination. We have not reclaimed the other bracelets yet. Then there is nothing more to discuss. We march to Brodia. The bracelet's power is indispensable to our invasion efforts. We will not simply hand it over. Still, you refuse to comply. In that case, you have left us with no choice. If it's a battle you want, we will be only too happy to oblige. Please, stop! I don't want to fight the two of you! Divine One? No. No, of course not. How come you feel like the Divine Dragon? You told us our friend was dead, you wretches! Were you lying to us? No! I'm from another world. What? No. There's only one explanation. 
This must be one of the corrupted. The fell dragons used their vile magic to make this twisted puppet of our fallen friend. That's not true. Listen to me. We don't listen to imposters. I can't believe you fell spawn did something so sick just to steal our bracelet. No doubt the tears you shed over the divine dragon's death were a trick as well. I thought as former allies, we could resolve this peacefully. Your deceit changes things. No. Knights, get ready for battle. See to it that Sombron's children are finally put down. We'll bring their severed heads to Brody as a symbol of our might. Yes, there is the brother I know. The fearsome man they called the Prince of Strewn Flowers. Now, as you did in the war, cast our foes to the ground like so many mangled roses. If your spirit is trapped in there, Divine One, I'll set you free. Alfred, no. It seems conflict is unavoidable. <sighs> I knew this would happen, but it's just as well. Their disrespect for Lady Nell and Lord Nil cannot go unanswered. Prepare yourself, Divine One. These may be familiar faces, but they will show you no mercy. Yeah, they're a lot more violently inclined than the ones that we do in the main game, huh? It sure seems like. Well. What is this map going to be like? How many can I bring? Just four others. So hold on. That's a lot of enemies. Now we're dealing with some armored knights, so that would be good to have some magic around. I guess I already sort of have. Chest, huh? What is the, uh... Be Alfred and Saline. Of course, you have your multiple health bars there. Multiple health bars. Ah, the different poses compared to the main game. Oh, interesting. That makes sense not to be the super happy, cheery versions of themselves. Huh, I'm probably going to try to get all my allies together. Maybe around the central part here. I don't really think I can do the two different two separate squads of four around here most likely not um I can interact with a convoy in a hot second and uh get you some things so who am I be good to bring if I wanted to see the dialogue you know I could do that but you know it's not super high up on my priority list what's high up on my priority list is actually being able to win here um, I don't have to worry about Corrupted reducing my health this time. At least. Currently my only healer here. Um, but with Seedal, it might not be that big a deal anyway. Um, are there flyers on this map? I didn't- I don't have any Radiant Bows or anything like that. Doesn't look like there's any flyers. Might not be too, too important. But let's see here. Who might be good to bring? Huh. Oh, and our levels increase as we go from level to level. So it was 15. Now it's 18. Interesting. So maybe we'll become level one promoted after the, uh, like the beginning of the next map. And then Marth will work a lot better there. You know? Um, yeah, your defenses are really good. And you would be a good wall unit for me to have there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Wouldn't mind bringing Byleth on someone. No, hold on. I want my own wall. That's what I wanted here. You can have the brash general and stuff. Um, Marin might be not half bad as well. Avoid 64. Which is our highest here, but man. Our avoidance is not great. Especially when we can't use, like, engraves and stuff. You know. It could be good to weaken down. And also just have another unit that has canter. You know. As for emblem rings, though. Hold on. Did I want to, um... You would be able to make use of both the strength and the magic, would be the case. Is there a good alternative for Ivy? You have some uh, bond level with. Um, there's corn as well. You just be able to put down the one effect though. Thorin maybe. Then I can assign decoy, and assign decoy might be big, you know. Even if uh, I don't get any type bonuses here, might be really handy there. 
There's magic and stuff. And then I can also summon another unit. Block things if I really want and level boost. But assign decoy if I do that onto a specific unit. That has saved me in so many scenarios. Soren. Of course. So if I do that. So I won't be able to use Echo to Draconic Hex a couple of units in the same turn. But I can use my engage attack for if I really want. Yes. So I think that you need to clear this to... uh get access to these characters in the main game, which means I'm not going to be leveling up Bond here at all, which is pretty sucky, but, um, can I tinker around with inventory there? With, um, that doesn't look like, doesn't seem like I can. Oh yeah. If I want magic, I could always, uh, you know, saline semi-invincibility build there. Defense nine. Great. Definitely is not exactly great there but yeah i do like having oh man i might just bring whoops no because i can't level up bond with these characters here anyway maybe you should be the one to bring soren have your magic boosted up Soren. understood and then you can assign decoy when you're not doing things and then ivy can focus on Silica, what she's go. doing well you know what we can do there I am tempted to bring Saline and do like the semi invincibility build with Sorn. But, I mean, hold on. The skill holdup plus is 20% HP or more at the start of combat. I might be able to do it. I'd need to put somebody else out. There's. Yeah, Res is definitely the generally better thing to be hitting with for this map. Magic attacks. Um, I could, wait, did it, does it reset all my stuff there? Oh yeah, it resets all my stuff. That could actually be pretty good then, because then you can like dip out to the main story and then come back and then everything's set there and then I assume they'll have like the skills that you have from the main story. Uh, so if I ever want to grind out my skills and stuff, I can. Um, but I only have the one Levin sword and that's it. So I could give it to Marin. Nine in magic there. I have seven even boosted with corn. Um. <laughs> I am definitely tempted to give corn to, uh. Wait, what the heck? Um, okay, that was inventory. Um, emblem rings. I am tempted to give corn to Nell. Because then, you know, you're not getting all that much benefit from. You know, having Chrome equipped normally, it's just, you know, secondary magic and then other half stuff there. But it'd be a whole lot better if you uh, were higher level there. Whereas, the main appeal of Corrin is that, uh, you know, you can use any Dragon Bane effect. It's kind of the case. I guess Strength is boosted by one with Chrome there. Um, do I really want to use Ike there all that much? I can always give you Camilla and then you get, you know, the main appeal of... Being able to choose any vein effect and then you can be on support. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna do that for that reason. Um, but yeah, I am tempted to give you corn. It is rather tempting there. Hmm. Rather than Tamara, should I bring Saline? Because Saline can wall with like invincibility build. What she can do. And I can hit with magic attacks then. I think I'm gonna do it. As much as I would love to have a more physical wall here, I'd love to hit with magic damage and then have semi-invincibility build with Sora in there. But that does mean I'm gonna need to find someone else to give to Celestia. Celestia, Zelestia, I believe. Soren. Of course. And then Zelestia. It's Tiki there, boost again. And the um, flame breath there. Yeah, that'd be better on some different units. I guess you're kind of a wall as well. Um, I could do that would I have an alternative for my unit I don't have Byleth on anybody um on level 5 because having Byleth would definitely be really good Byleth also boosts magic the um the res there yeah that might not be too important good was Luin there effective dragon that's not gonna matter here yeah the that which might actually be important within this um, I want to get magic boosted by a little bit, and then speed is pretty good. Violet. Let's go. Huh. 
I do wonder here. If I gave you corn, someone else to my unit, and then, um, I had some weird rearranging idea in my head. Yeah, something like this, maybe? Would there be someone better for Marin? Being able to put down that extra health bar. I think we get, like, the full benefit of... Hold on. Let's see here. Fire breath. Yeah, half defense. Would be good. Yeah, so that's probably good there. We might be good with this. Um, I have my higher movement units at the bottom there. Then I can move up. I think here. Might do an immediate chain guard inventory. So does it fully reset everything? The, um... Let's see here. So I know I used some of that restore staff that you had. It's not here anymore. Oh. Maybe it's just Gonzo and it resets everything fresh each time. Do you have any uses of that used? Alright, so each map is like completely fresh then. I would take it. I didn't use Mend at all there. But I must not have anything that's partially used. Do I see any... Nope, there's no uh, restore staff uses around there. I guess his is just gone now. Nils is a little bit unfortunate there. But hey, it means I don't have to worry about the amount of uses if it'll reset each map. So, let me see here. I am going to want... First of all, a tome. Um, give me Veil's Elfire. The Leaven Sword... I think I still want to give to my unit for just like the two range thing. Emergency magic damage. I guess I can do stuff like this. Oh, Armor Slayer. That might actually be good here. Wait. I only have one Leaven Sword. So that means that Armor Slayer should actually go to my other unit here. Your magic is nine. Minus seven there. I don't mind my unit having two range being able to counter there. You already have two range with daggers, so that might actually still be better there, even though my magic stat is a little bit suckier. Um, let's see here. You can get around, so physic might not be as important on you. Fortify. I don't... You can't act... Oh, you can't use stabs yet. So I guess the next battle, most likely. Which means that Ivy's gonna be on support here as well. Um, let me just grab one of these grab that. I don't think I'm gonna need Elwind here. It'll be in the convoy if I really need it, though. And then you can grab Physic. And I don't think Restore is gonna be important, but just in case, I guess I can grab it. Oh, may as well there. As before, Sea Doll. Probably something like that. I just want to see if I can quickly deposit that stuff, just in case I need to grab some vulnerabilities from the uh, convoy. Something like that. I don't think, yeah, there'd be any other spicy daggers. Me, you link. And swords. Let's grab a killing edge, but meh. Meh. Let's see here. So, yeah, you can always load up on vulnerabilities. I don't think Elwind is going to be important. Anyway, just in case, I guess I'll do that. I suppose. Yeah, so something like that-ish. And then for my other units, I... Is there an easy way that I can just select Convoy? I guess I'll just deposit things to people. I, um... Nil is probably gonna want, you know, that Tomahawk. I, um... I think my mages are already covered and stuff, but just in case. Um, then I'm gonna want a Spear. I'll have some Vulnerarys be deposited and stuff. That run out of men's, I guess. Just in case. Oh yeah, and hammer. Give that to uh that to nil. Okay. Anything that's important here still. I'm not gonna burn through that many men stabs, but you know, I'll do that there anyway. You have the uh, other hammer. Doesn't matter too much though. I think. Um Spear, I'm pretty sure I already deposited one, but just be safe. Be safe on that front. Alright. Alright, then. There was something else I was going to do. I wanted to have a look-see. 
at... Yeah, you have the avoid thing, Rabob. Yeah, mentorship, SP conversion. I... Yeah, I don't have anything else on you right now. So yeah, I guess that's that. And that'll give it a go here.